do 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 Oh, hey man, nice box. Yeah, look inside. Oh. <laughs> there's nothing, but, but also there's something. Yeah, that's what I said. It's impossible. I know, buddy. What, what are you going to do with that thing? Doesn't it just like completely change metaphysics or logic or something? Yeah, buddy. I thought maybe I'd show it to the world, like, the metaphysicists will want to see this. Yeah, dude. You, you, you do that. They'll be mind-blowing. You'll, you'll change the world, man. But, man, man. Yeah, man? What if, like, someone makes a weapon with it? Like, they can kill people and not kill people at the same time? Yeah, man. That would be bad. You don't want that, man. No, buddy. I'd be like the next Lockheed. That would really suck. Yeah, man. That would suck. So should I hide it? Nah, man. You, like, gotta totally revolutionize metaphysics. So I show it to the world. Oh, man. I got an idea. You can do both. Hide it and show it to the world. Buddy, you cracked it. I'll give it to you and you can hide it. And I'll also take it and show the world. Let's do a little comprehension exercise. Did the blobs hide the box? Did they send the box to the moon? You can write your answers in the comments if you're into that sort of thing, and I'll mark them and give you a gold star if you're right. In normal boring maths, there's a theorem which states that if there's a contradiction, then you can prove that any mathematical statement is both true and false. Everything being both true and false leads to a right old pickle, so it's taken as a proof that you can't have true contradictions. People tend to carry this thought over to everyday reasoning and claim that reasoning which includes a contradiction is always bad reasoning. However, my silly little story had a contradiction in it, but there are clear right and wrong answers to the comprehension exercise. It is true that the blobs didn't take the box to the moon, and it's false that they did take the box to the moon. We can have contradictions without getting ourselves into a right old pickle. Thus, maybe we should use contradictions if they turn out to solve some problems. So here's a problem. Is a sentence like, this sentence is false, true or false? If it were true that this sentence is false, then that sentence would have to be false. And if the sentence were false, then it would be true that this sentence is false, is true. And thus the sentence would be true. So we can either say it's both true and false, or that it's neither true nor false, both of which are pretty crazy. It seems a tad less crazy to say that this sentence is neither true nor false, so let's run with that option. This just kicks the can down the road, as we can make a different sentence along the lines of This sentence is not true, is not false, and is not neither true nor false. This sentence would be true if it were neither true nor false, and thus it's false because the part of the sentence which says This sentence is not false, is false. And you get the picture. So what do we know? The sentence, this sentence is false, or at least some variant of it, has to be both true and false, at least within natural language. And thinking back to my little story, this isn't some terrible thing. Therefore, contradictions exist. Woo! End of video. There's going to be some more, like, floating on the screen now, so you can click on those. There's one about the history of sexuality and some other sort of stuff. Anyway, thanks. Bye.